Can everybody hear? Come on in. So I always like to start uh, with uh, themes or topics. This intersection is uh, pretty typical. I've walked around the town a little bit. One of the things I'd like to say about the intersection is I have yet to find an intersection that I'm in love with. <laughs> I haven't. I found a few that I like. This one is close to being likable, but it's missing a couple key ingredients. So I'll share with you what really helps the pedestrian. Post-mounted signals, not those long span wires way up in the sky. Having post-mounted signals allows the motors to watch the pedestrian, to see the pedestrian, instead of seeing the sun. And uh, so this is off the charts, one of the top 10% intersections in America, for that reason. It's reasonably compact. A problem with the red uh, markings is at night that goes dark. Mm -hmm. And so you don't get the benefit of a normal crosswalk marking. So that you're, these are easy things to change. You could keep the red if you want it, but then put the broad uh, wide bands on as well. But there's something at this intersection that I totally, totally uh, hate. And I'm using that word, which I don't use very often, but I hate them. Push buttons. The pedestrian should not have to do a mother may I. They should be included in every single phase of every signal cycle in your downtown. Now it's different out in the suburbs, but here pedestrians should come first, not, not even considered. And so I've been watching and uh, some people will put in the push buttons, but they'll still run through the walk cycle. Here they're not doing that. That's even worse. A lot of people will not push the button. And so they just assume that the city or the county or whoever is not looking out for them, and they're not. So those are the easy fixes. We take out all the push buttons in the downtowns, and we put the walk phase in on every single cycle, and we hold it as long as we can based on the, the traffic queuings uh, and things like that. So that all make sense?